Hey there, welcome to my channel Automation Bro. In this video series, I'll be showing you how to build a fully functional test automation framework from scratch in JavaScript using WebDriver.io. We'll also be integrating the following tools and libraries to enhance our framework. So let's get started. What is WebDriver.io? It is a popular automation tool being used by major companies around the world such as Google, Netflix, Microsoft, Mozilla, and many more. It lets you automate web applications in different browsers and operating systems. It also supports automating native mobile apps for Android and iOS. So now let's talk about what makes WebDriver.io so popular. First, it's built on top of Selenium. So WebDriver.io uses Selenium under the hood and due to that, you can run your test on all sorts of browser as well as utilize all Selenium functionality, which makes this test framework really powerful. Second, and this one is my personal favorite, it's really easy to write tests for beginners. If you're just getting started with automation testing, WebDriver.io makes it really easy for you to write tests. For example, to click a button, this is how a typical WebDriver.io test would look like. Simple, right? It's just like reading English. Lastly, it's front-end friendly. So what that means is, if you're a front-end developer and you would like to write tests, the context switch from development to writing test becomes seamless with WebDriver.io as it lets you write tests in a language you're already familiar with and integrates with same testing tool which you probably write your unit test with, which is Mocha and Chai. So that's another reason why a lot of companies are adopting this framework. Now let's take a look at what we'll be covering in this series. First off, we'll start with basic installation, get through our config, setup, get our first test working, then we will start adding more tests in our test suite. This is where we will learn about WebDriver IO API, write tests using different selectors such as CSS and XPath, and understand the differences between which one to use in which scenario. So once we get our basic tests written down, we will start talking about how we can scale our framework. With this, we will introduce page object model, understand the advantages and how we can use it. We will also learn how to use utility and helper functions to optimize our code. At the same time, we will also be using JavaScript ES6 and above throughout our videos so you don't have to worry about using old stale code. After we have created our test, we will explore different options on how we can run our tests. We will learn how to run tests in different browsers. We will also learn how to do parallel testing on multiple browser instances. From there, we will look at how we can generate reports using WebDriver.io. For this series, we will be using Alir to generate our beautiful reports. We will also be attaching our screenshot in the reports anytime our test fails. After reporting, we will move on to our next section which is running test in browser stack. We will go over how we can integrate test with it and see our test running live in browser stack. Then moving on to our final section, we will wrap all of this up by integrating our test with Jenkins. Here we will set up our local instance of Jenkins, push our code to GitHub, set up test job and integrate JUnit report with Jenkins. Alright, so as you can see, we'll be covering quite a bit of material here. As a bonus, I will also make my code available on GitHub for all of you guys to clone and use it for any of your future projects. So this video series is not just limited to this. If you'd like to see more content on WebDriver.io, leave your questions and comments below. So in the next video, we'll get started with setup, installation and write our first test. But before you click on the next video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. That's all for this video folks, I'll see you in the next one.